Hello YouTubers, how's everybody doing? This is Rudagamon. Welcome to another one of my benchmark videos. Uh, this video will be a little different uh, than my rest of the benchmarks. Uh, I'm going to benchmark a new SSD that uh, I got uh, today and I will do a comparison with uh, my older SSD. Uh, this SSD installed on, on my Core i5 system, the one uh, that has the GTX 970. Uh, it has an Astroc uh, P67 Extreme 6 uh, motherboard. It is a fairly old system, but uh, it gets the, the job done, so it is okay. I will upgrade it at some point uh, anyway. Uh, so for the benchmarks of this video uh, what I have done is uh, that I got myself a new SanDisk SSD an Extreme Pro to 40 gigabytes uh, these are uh, uh, the drive stats as you can see it is very new it is uh, only just installed don't uh, worry about the serial number, I, I have already registered it. And let's see how the drive performs. I'm going to start with uh, 8 disk benchmark and uh, I'm going to use the maximum length allowed by the benchmark. Uh, this is the 246 version, I believe there is not uh, a new one, a newer one, but uh, even if uh, there is, it gets a job done. So let me start the benchmark. Uh, of course, uh, for viewers of, of my channel, you already know that uh, this is a digital recording. The recording is done uh, on an external recorder. So uh, what you will see here will be pure performance. As you can see, the CPU usage was uh, at idle and it spikes now that the benchmark is running. Normally for this kind of stuff, uh, you only have to grab the result and post some uh, pictures. But in any case, uh, I thought that would be different to do a real-time benchmark for storage. Many people uh, should have the, my previous uh, SSD, which is a Corsair Force GT 120GB. So this one will be a good upgrade path. As you can see, uh, as always with SSDs, uh, for clusters that, that are less than 4 kilobytes or equal to 4 kilobytes, the performance is not great, but even at 4 uh, kilobytes, uh, it's already hitting 250 megabytes of write and 300 megabytes per second of read. And after that, okay, the, the story is finished, it is very fast. It is hitting 500 megabytes uh, as uh, its uh, specs suggest. My CPU is clocked at 4.3 GHz as you can see it is spiking. This is uh, the, the normal uh, CPU speed for my daily usage. I only use 4.8 for, for gaming benchmarks. And even so, the CPU is barely jumping to 4.3 GHz at points. The, CPU, the SSD access does not uh, consume too much uh, CPU usage. Okay, this benchmark has finished. 
as you can see the results are very good it has already hit uh, 500 megabytes of read from uh, 16 kilobyte clusters and onwards very good performance uh, now let me launch disk mark uh, crystal mark crystal disk mark the Shizuku edition I'm going to use 2 gigabytes of uh, testing for that as well and let me uh, use English for everyone to understand what the menu says and for the test data I'm going to use the default uh, setting okay let's see how this uh, fares I see that uh, the first core of the CPU jumped to 100% for a moment there. I guess uh, this video is not too bad since uh, you can also see how the CPU uh, is doing in real time. We got a very bad score here, only 30 megabytes of read. Uh, this must be the 4 kilobytes uh, test, which is always problematic for uh, all SSDs compared to what they can do in, uh, with normal data. But still, it is, good, it is good to know this measurement because uh, some files are small and uh, they can affect the performance. got another uh, CPU spike there
Surprisingly, the right speed is uh, higher in this uh, difficult test. That is due to the controller's compression, compression etc. Okay, yes, it was the 4K test. 4K test is uh, always problematic. In any case, it is what it is. Now let's proceed to uh, HD Tune Pro. I have uh, my sound disk uh, selected and let's start right away. We see that uh, we have a steady read performance of uh, close to 350 megabytes per second from the first part uh, of the SSD until uh, the end. Uh, I'm guessing that uh, the uh, SSD's uh, maximum speeds cannot be reached with this specific read test anyway and let's go to the AS SSD benchmark I'm going to use 3 gigabytes for this test and we can start
um, I don't know what uh, this error here is. Yes, okay, we lost one uh, benchmark result. I'm not sure why. In any case, this is the performance from the AS SSD benchmark. So let me put everything side by side. We and the crystal disk mark and this is it my friends these are all the benchmarks uh, side by side i am now going to install again my old uh, ssd my corsair force gt uh, 120 gigabytes and i will do all these tests once again so we can see the difference in performance Okay, I have now installed my old uh, SSD again uh, back on the system. Uh, it is exactly the same configuration. Uh, the, they are just uh, clones of each other. Nothing uh, is different. I just changed the wallpaper for this video uh, so I know if I scroll the uh, uh, video back and forth fast forward or backwards uh, what video I'm watching, what part of the benchmark. Uh, let's see what this info says. So this is the Corsair Force GT 120GB latest firmware here as well it was the latest firmware for the SanDisk benchmarks these are the stats of the drive I'm surprised it says a good status uh, at 100% here it, it has already uh, written 11 terabytes and uh, 10 terabytes and it has read 23 terabytes it has uh, 12,000 hours of operating time and it still uh, runs like a dog it is a very good SSD as well so let me close this uh, program and let's uh, start the benchmark queue anew We see again the same uh, story for small size clusters the drives uh, do have some problem giving uh, good speeds but good speeds start from uh, 4 kilobytes see how this uh, drive is different when it is writing uh, it manages good compression but when it is reading uh, the data the read uh, speed is uh, slower it is a fast drive nonetheless as you can see it is uh, already writing at uh, 400 megabytes for the 32 kilobyte clusters 36 megabytes for the 16 kilobyte clusters and uh, this time we are at 500 megabytes territory at uh, 128 kilobytes for this benchmark the uh, 
SanDisk SSD is uh, faster of course for the most part but as you can see this one is already uh, is also quite fast Okay, the benchmark has finished. Very good uh, results for uh, more than half of uh, the, s the cluster sizes. Not bad, not bad at all, but still not uh, as fast as uh, the SanDisk one. Let's see what the disk mark will have to say about all that. Two gigabyte size.
ok not ok it is still benchmarking Okay, now it has finished. Uh, we do see that uh, the sound disk drive was uh, quite a lot faster than uh, the Corsair one in this benchmark. I'm not sure, but I believe only the right uh, in the 4K benchmark was uh, slower here. Anyway, I will keep all these benchmarks and I will do a side by side comparison later. Uh, let's see what HD Tune has to say. Corsair 4 GT selected, and I'm starting the benchmark. Okay, the HD Tune benchmark has finished as well. We do have a weird uh, curve of performance here. The sound disk was at 350 constantly from start to finish. This one goes up and down. It reached an average of 242 megabytes. Uh, not too bad, but not too great either. Not uh, terrible performance, of course. And let's see what uh, AS SSD has to show us, so we can close this video. Three 
3 gigabytes test and start.
the same error uh, occurred uh, in this uh, benchmark as well as it did before in uh, the Sandisk uh, benchmark I am not really sure why this is happening but uh, it did uh, give us the requested results ok this benchmark has finished as well the performance uh, was not great in this one let me put these guys side by side anyway you get the picture uh, this is the sum of all the benchmark of the Corsair uh, SSD I will uh, put a uh, a link in the description that summarizes all that and if anyone wants to see the video so good uh, thank you very much for watching and take care